Um, in the last video, we discussed a little bit about um, for loops. Now, uh, if you're familiar with the for loops, you begin you could begin to uh, have a bunch of very interesting things about it, and the uh, the um, uh, very f uh, probably the, the the very first thing that let me think of a for loop is a um, uh, is that we can use it to uh, play with uh, some integer sequences or or just uh, like uh, sequences, and um, when when I was reading and uh, 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 at the back of the I believe it was the A level textbook uh, from from the back when. Uh, where there's there's a cha chapter about the Fibonacci uh, sequence, which uh, which is um, usually an optional section of it, I I tried some of the some of the ideas about this this calculation. If you think about um, uh, this uh, the sequence is actually linked to lots of lots and lots of a, a very very interesting idea, uh, and uh, a good thing about the Julia language is uh, it's not only very easy for us to calculate these numbers, but also but also it's very convenient to plot these uh, values and ratio and how they converge uh, with some plotting package. So so here's here's a, here's the first uh, like uh, 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 comp uh, sorry com compra uh, compression of a uh, com comparation compression of sorry a different use of uh, uh, a different type of for loops that we could use well actually different uh, very different structures of uh, for loops that we can use to uh, create a sequence that uh, that uh, sorry create uh, sequences that are identical to each other so for this for loop app in fib number dot j, let's just name it to so that we. So if you think of it, if if you think of it, x is an a sequence. If I initiate a sequence with uh, zero, but I actually like to um, sp specify the specify the length of the the length of the sequence. So number is say I like say I'd like to use um, two to the power of like no people use two to the power of all the time. Let's 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 calculate. Uh, let's have a sequence that is, uh, is have term maybe ten. Oh sorry, one hundred. And if I put uh, if I have uh, sorry zeros and if I initiate a sequence with uh, of course it must be integers, we get a 100 element array and we could fill the cell like the x first is one and x two is one. That's it's not very surprising because you could you could start with one one then two three that's 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 uh, the most popular Fibonacci sorry Fibonacci sequence in the Fibonacci type of sequences so uh, there's a family of um, Fibonacci sequence but the one start with two what what let's start with one and one is the is the most popular one and and from and from the last uh, from the last uh, section we know that we could start from the from, from from the third value to the end value and we could assign we could we are able to assign the ith value to uh, to the existing parcel so so the ith value is the sum of x uh, I must one x I must two end and to do this explicitly we use global All right and sorry successing so at um, index zero what is doing so index zero so uh, 
the the length of the length of x is a hundred. So x the value of x. Uh, here's the second value. Here's the first value. What's going on with this? So three minus two. There's oh sorry, i n minus one. It's made a typo. Oops. Sorry. Run this and print out the value of this. So what actually happens is that if you plot it, plot the um, let's say using plots, if I want to like sort of plots, plot, and uh, from one to n, I want to plot the value of x and uh, and the label of uh, x is um, the the index and uh, the label of y is gonna be the fifth sorry fifth, right fifth sorry the nth Fibonacci number so so let's see how this is gonna work. Maybe it doesn't. So what basically happens is is that if you think of the sequence, if you think that we are adding the first two value to get a third value and after the second and third value to get a fourth value, uh, this this number actually gets pretty big um, with uh, just very little number of iterations. So uh, they and uh, if you if you know a little bit about uh, the uh, float the, sorry the float number, um, we might not be able to store uh, really large values of it. So if I if I plot uh, so so this sequence is it's going up very fast and this this uh, that's not very not a very pretty looking sequence and if you think if you think of this and uh, let's say let I want to let's say I want to check let's uh, let's say I want to check when does it uh, uh, when when the double in uh, the double float number fails to fails to uh, store the uh, store the values so For this to three n, and if let's say if the ith value of x, the ith of uh, value of x is uh, is not equal, or that's not a very technical way, but this it sort of helps. I plus one, uh, sorry, I minus one, I minus um, x of i minus two. If it doesn't, if it if it, uh, well, it basically says this, if this doesn't work, break, and and now the problem is we have to get the value of i. So this value of i is n. Sorry, global say n fail is i, and then we print. Actually, we could just print out from there, but print. L and then fail. Right, so this will work. It's not defined, sorry. We have to define something and change the value to this. Print that value, so so that still works. So 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 we are able to store the number of digits if you just if you are just doing night, uh, like uh, ten to the power of two, so that's one hundred terms. What if we instead do a ten to the power of three? So still going up very fast. But if you look at the sort of, um, if you look at the sort of value, this is going up to 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 this part, 
and I wonder what it's what it's doing because if I th if I think if I think of it if I think that uh, every numbers are are unequal to some cases, this actually ex expose a problem of this actually expose a problem uh, of float number handling. And uh, and the error bound. Because not every because not every diff digits of the the the, the other value is stored. And um, for example, for example, if I look at the end value of x, this is the four point something something to two uh, times. 10 to the power of 200 and 208 and we could use this function called EPS so that's epsilon standing which stands for the error and uh, the, the the error is pretty large but so so it's it's basically saying that um, by iteration this is by iteration this is sort of co a, uh, a correct number that the that every every um, ith term is has reasonable has reasonable error uh, has reasonable error bound with uh, respect to i uh, the i minus one term and, and and the i minus two term. But this is this is not true for the integer. So if I just do a slight do a slight modification, like what if we use integer. So instead of instead of doing this, instead of doing this, let's do let's do integer and see what happens. And see what happens. So 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 that uh, we want to make it uh, very um Let's see. Well, let's see what happens if we do this. All right. That's um, so. These are integers, and just by simply observing from this result, there's some negative values. So there's a the so the sudden. So suddenly, if we store every values of every value of this, it's not gonna it's not gonna work because because and then if we plot it, and 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 we could see that. We can see that from 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 the plot that uh, that, that, that our values are not good, not doing a very good job, and only only the about the first one hundred times are are correct. So that's one interesting aspect of the uh, the Fibonacci sequence, and. Uh, let's go back to the sort of a. Uh, let's go back to the this, this like maybe maybe I paste, maybe I paste this from here. So instead of writing functions, I I'm because I'm very lazy to to. Actually, that's not very hard, All right? So let's we could write a function, right? The um um if we sort of if we sort of try. A, a bunch of other things. Um, say we get a say we get a float number of this. Uh, uh, what if I what if I time it? Like count how how much time is used. How how much time is is used when we are doing the iteration. So that takes about this much of time, and. Um, if you remember that, if you remember that, there's actually a formula for for the sequence, which is related to which is related to the golden ratio. Because if I think of it, if I think of it um, using the dot product, I can I can say plots, and I, when I plot it, I I plot the nth term, actually, 
actually um actually i want to actually want to divide every two consecutive uh, terms so i got from one to n minus one and then our y our y value would be our y value would be the the the, the next term divided by the first term Oh, sorry, the 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 the, the i term divide, divided by the i plus one term. So <coughs> this actually goes from one to and minus one. And what happens there? Remember the dot operator that we covered in the in previous videos, I, which I believe is the second one second video we could do this sort of thing we could do say so this is a clip of the sequence without the the last term and this part is, is a clip of the sequence without the first term and if I divide those two I get the consecutive uh, the consecutive ratio and there's a value that this this ratio is gonna approach, and um, my so in, in this way my x label is is x, and uh, my and my y label my y value of label uh, is sorry um it's gonna be the it's gonna be the The i plus uh, the i term of Fibonacci sequence divided by the 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 um i plus one sequence you can plot it and now it's gonna right so this all this is all gonna make sense because we are approaching a value that is very that's very close to 0 0.6 that's about 0 0.6 something and if i read the if i kind of read the value from here let's say i i could like to work this a very dirty way of writing code but i think that's over this, this is very close to a number called the golden ratio and and, and you can search, sort of search for the formula and the proofs uh that uh, every can Every two consecutive uh, number of this is a, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a sequence that approaches the, 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 the small phi. But uh, actually, if we relate that to the formula of the Fibonacci sequence, that's it's it, that is not related to the first two terms of the Fibonacci sequence. Namely, we could have a fib, we could have a function that gives us the uh, value of um, Fibonacci sequence with only with only the uh, the um, term number needed so this is going to be something divided by square root of 5 and what's that that's that's uh, 1 point six one eight or you could go like a more precise stuff uh, to the power of n and uh, minus which I believe is minus 0 0.615 to the power of n doesn't work uh, and if I define this as a function and you can see that this function is, un is, is, is not dependent to it, it, it does not involve calculating the previous term and if I go Fibonacci from 1 to 100. Remember that we can use the um, dot operator. And so, does it work? No. Uh, that's wrong formula, I guess. It's wrong formula. Um, uh, this uh, actually, uh, let me let me have a look at the formula for the um uh and we will we'll, we will go on to this uh, kind of comparison between the algorithm in the next video